Hey y'all and welcome to the Southland Piper. I'm your host Tim. Hope you're doing well today. Well I have this uh, custom built. Uh, it's a, a bull moose and it's in nice condition but it does need to be refinished so let's turn around to the workbench and get started. Okay let's get a closer look. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is this pipe is as young as 78 years old and, and as old as 90 years old because this is a Tracy uh, Mincer era pipe. So it was made between 1934 and 1946. The reason I know that, let me jump in real close. And there you can see the hyphen. And we've got imported briar. And let me see if we can find it. We've got a diamond. Yeah, there it is. A diamond on the shank. Um, the stem is in really nice condition. Not much to do there. Uh, the bowl is light on carbon. I don't think the pipe's been smoked very many times. I'm hoping all this carbon around the rim will come out, will clean up, come out. And uh, no, no issues that I've found on this pipe. Um, like I said, this is, when you think of custom built, this is the bull moose. Uh, this is the one that people really think of when you think of uh, custom built pipes. So let's get started. The stem looks pretty good. It's got a light uh, coating of oxidation on it. So I'm going to drop it in uh, the cleaner for a couple hours. So far, the only uh, bad thing I found on this pipe is the off center uh, drilling on it. But that's okay. We're not converting this pipe or anything, so there's nothing wrong with that. So let me drop it in the uh, deoxidizer. While I'm waiting on the stem, I went ahead and reamed the pipe. Uh, no issues showed up at all. Pipe just looks really good inside. Good solid pipe. And we'll do a little inside cleaning of the airway. Let's go ahead and clean the briar using this before and after briar cleaner. Pipe's really not that dirty other than the top of the rim. I believe that'll do it. We'll let that sit for 20 minutes. All right, let's uh, put the stem on the buffer. Now I'm going to scrub the uh, stumble down with just some water and a soft toothbrush. Well, this is what it looks like after cleaning. It's just got some char right around the rim. I could sand that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as it is. It's a, like I said, 78 to 90 year old pipe. And so that's not really bad. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go with tan. I think that'll look good on there. Might be a touch darker than what was on there. Maybe, maybe not. I like that. Rustication makes staining it a little difficult. Without a doubt, it's the uh, most, most attractive custom built I've had in my hands anyway. It's a pretty pipe. I covered it all. 
We'll even things out a little bit. Give it some highlights. All right, we'll let that dry and we'll buff it up. Well, here's the stumble after the dye has dried. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Yes, it's dark around the, the rim, but I just didn't want to sand this uh, pipe. And uh, so I left that alone. We'll see how it turns out. Well, here's the finished pipe. I think it turned out extremely well. The stem, which didn't have any uh, issues other than a little oxidation, turned out really nice. Um, the pipe overall is just a beautiful, beautiful custom built. Uh, logo, yep, right there. Pretty, pretty pipe. Thank you for sharing your time with me today and hope to talk to you soon. Bye.